Okay, well, I just uh, returned my Hertz rental car, and um, my nephew Reagan here is, uh, uh, came with me to, to bring me back to the house. He's got to work later today, driving to Austin. So we got this done, and I, let me tell you, I like Hertz. Uh, their prices, especially compared to Enterprise, uh, were better. But what was interesting is when we were, were getting a car uh, I was driving with Gucci Girl and Grumpy, riding with them, and contacted Harrisburg, and they wanted to charge me, called them on the phone there in Pennsylvania, they wanted to charge me over $800, $850 or $60 for three days to drive back to Texas. Well, it cost me $450 uh, to drive up uh, to New York, and this was in Pennsylvania here. And uh, so thankfully, Gucci Girl insisted that I call the Hertz place in, in Gettysburg, which is where we were going to the Civil War site. So uh, she got online, and their price was $350 online to, to get down back here to Temple, Texas. And so I called the guy, and I explained to him, uh, you know, that, hey, they're, they were unreasonable in Harrisburg. And he said, well, did you try online? Did you, did you rent the car online? I said, no. And he said, that might have been the difference. It's cheaper online. But, you know, uh, four or $500 a difference? That sounds kind of crazy to me. But he, you know, he gave me in Gettysburg, the Hertz there gave me the uh, online price. Uh, that Gucci girl had showed me. It was real close to that anyway. So I was uh, very, very pleased with that. Not not any real big problem with Hertz. I mean, really, they, they, they did a good job for me. Got down here, just dropped this off. I was 38 minutes late. Of course, you know, 10 or 15 minutes of that time, I had to sit and wait on them. But so they were trying to charge me like 60 or 70 bucks at least for that extra 30, 38 minutes. So, but by the time we got through talking, they didn't charge me that. So just the regular estimated price. The worst part about the whole thing with, <clears throat> with the rental car situation was when I was entering Texas, I loved entering Texas, but my rental car had New York plates on it. I did not like that at all. But anyway, got all that situated and uh, uh, thank you, Reagan, appreciate you picking. And he, he didn't get my truck anymore. So he was gonna be driving my truck the whole seven months that I was supposed to be gone. So, oh well, may, next year, may, next year you'll get it. Okay, well, I just joined Planet Fitness back there here in my hometown, little hometown of Belton, and I got this, this rad t-shirt, or is it fly, as Crispy said on the trail about my gators, or it's just cool, something like that. Anyway, all right. Well, uh, I've been home for several days now. Uh, wow, I, you know, just, I know it was only a week, but I hiked on the Appalachian Trail. That's gradually been sinking in. I, that's, that's so cool. Even though it wasn't in, anywhere near what I expected or, or wanted to happen, uh, still, you know, it, I've been there. Next time I go, it won't be nearly as, as intimidating. And I kind of feel a little funny about giving a review on a week 
on the Appalachian Trail, but it is what it is. So, uh, so I just been thinking a lot about it on the drive home and and since I've been home kind of recuperating and, and uh, staying a little busy, uh, but not too much. Uh, you know, cleaning my gear and getting it stowed away. Uh, but thinking about physically how I did, of course, you know, I realize the main thing is that I'm just still way too overweight. And I knew that, I uh, was hoping I could make it work on the trail. Uh, I still need to lose a lot more weight before I hit it again next year. That's what's gonna help me the most, I know that. Especially my back. Now, when it came to my legs and my knees, uh, they really, my knees, I didn't have a problem. My legs, when it came to handling the uh, all the inclines and the descents, uh, really surprised me is how, how well I did there. Uh, I had horrible cramps that first day, as you know, but after that, you know, I just made sure I was hydrated and, you know, I, that was it. I was tired and sore when I got into camp at the end of the day, but I was ready to go the next day. My legs did well, and that has to be because of the stairs and the inclines. I did a lot of work in that area. Um, now, um, now, as far as my gear is concerned, you know, I was only out there for a week, so, but everything worked well for me. You know, it really did. Uh, however, I realized that my pack, and I knew before I left, my pack was just way too heavy. I wasn't out there long enough to really uh, decide what I wanted to get rid of to, to uh, you know, lower that weight. But let me, let me just tell you some of the things that I would consider for next year. Um, I would consider possibly getting a new backpack. I might, if, now, if I have the money, uh, I, wouldn't, I would really look into getting a Z-Pack backpack. I might even look into getting a Z-Pack tent uh, because that's going to save, you know, my, my goal, my goal is to get a, have a full pack of no more than 25 pounds. I think I could live with that. That would be a world of difference than the 37 to 38 pounds that I had as a full pack this, uh, this last time. Uh, things that I would consider giving up or, or not taking next time which a couple of some of these I already considered not taking this time but I ended up taking them was uh, my uh, pack cover um, you know especially if I have a z-pack but and then I have z-pack stuff sacks uh, or, or um, um, stuff sacks that are waterproof um, so I wouldn't need a back cover possibly no ground sheet for my tent uh, I would consider uh, not taking the one for my Big Agnes that I have now or, or using one if I get a different type of tent. Uh, I would consider not taking a trowel. The one I have is uh, is kind of heavy, and but I would really consider to, to lessen the weight to just use trek and pole, stick, foot, you know, heel of my shoe, rock, whatever I could to, to dig a hole. Uh, I would consider leaving the trowel, trowel home. Uh, less in my first aid or medicine bag. There's some things there I know that I can lighten up. Uh, losing weight, my clothes will be lighter, uh, but definitely my clothes would be a place uh, to save save some weight. My anchor battery, the, the charger, uh, it's a 21,000 megahertz, and I did discover that that is way more than I needed uh, because my phone, it it recharged it every night and barely made a dent <laughs> uh, in using up the anchor battery and also my DeLorme. I'll probably still take the DeLorme with me, uh, the SOS and, and tracker. Uh, and, you know, I had it first a uh, couple days. I had it on a ping every hour. Then I had it on a ping every half hour. And it was still like 90% uh, as far as being charged so it didn't and it didn't take much to, to charge it up so uh, I think I get away with 13,000 15,000 I don't know how you know how they sell them exactly what sizes but much less than the 21,000 megahertz that I have now uh, I wouldn't take the uh, uh, Z-Lite sleeping pad um, I would just get a, a, an air up mattress with the proper R uh, value uh, probably wouldn't take my air 
up pillow. I like it, I really do, but uh, to save on weight, I might use just one of those stuff sacks from Z Packs. And uh, generally, I think I'm gonna have some kind of clothes in there uh, in that to where I can ball it up, you know, and use as a pillow. But I'll work something out. But I need to get, I need to make some sacrifices to get that weight down. Those are just a few of the ideas that I have. Um, now, you know, it's still real early after I've just gotten back, but in thinking about next year, I don't know. Some of you have made comments and suggestions on where I needed to start. I don't know where I'll start uh, next year. I don't know if I'm going to try to start in, uh, at, um, in Georgia or uh, at Harper's Ferry. Those would be the two really places that I would consider. You know, when it comes to just walking on rocks and roots, uh, hey, Hurley, yeah, hi there. When it comes to walking on, on rocks and roots, most of our trails around here in Texas that I've been hiking on, day hikes and, and um, overnight, you know, and several day hikes, they, there's a lot of uh, rocks and roots <laughs> and, you know, ups and downs, inclines and stuff on those that, you, you know, you really get used to or can you get the feel for what it's like. It wasn't that much different uh, on the Appalachian Trail other than the rocks generally uh, at times were bigger and uh, you know there were more inclines uh, and, and, and steeper ones. You know Guadalupe National Park, the mountains here in Texas, a lot of rocks, a lot of rocks and yes 2,000 and more foot climbs uh, and uh, the Lone Star hiking trail, a lot of roots, and it was muddy, very muddy and swampy. And just in here in Central Texas, in our general area, a lot of rocks and roots. Uh, so uh, that is something that, that I can train on here in Texas. Um, but I just, and as far as uh, building up my endurance for inclines, that's the stairs and some of these small hills and walking up the sides of the bridges as I've been doing and just keep increasing how much of that I do. So, uh, so I think that, um, you know, I, I can be ready physically and with my gear, uh, with, in the amount of time that I have, it's just losing the weight is the main thing. And I think that will probably solve my my back issue so anyway okay guys uh you know like i said i feel a little funny giving a, a report uh after just being out on the trail for a week but it was a good experience i did have fun my sister-in-law said asked me at one point well are you having fun out there uh i said yes generally uh i start off having fun late later in the day when I'm real tired, still have a ways to go. I don't necessarily see it as fun at that moment. But then when I get set up in my tent at night and, and I'm relaxing a bit, then I look back on the day and said, that was fun. So, uh, so I, I, I'm just, I'm excited about preparing uh, for next year. Lord willing, it'll work out. But Got, got a decent amount of time to get it all figured out. So guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I've read all the comments. I've, I've commented, responded to most of them. By the way, someone asked the question about how far I went on in that week. Uh, 28.7 miles is how far I went. So not real far, but I tell you what, I worked hard to get it. Anyway. All right, guys. Appreciate it. See you next week. Yeah. Good hurry. Yes.